other food atomic model possessed a stable structure with a central nucleus then what according to bohr bohr gave a new model he was like the atomic model possessed a stable structure with central nucleus and revolving around to sun planet system in addition to planetary system held by governing held by gravitational force the nucleus electron system released on coulomb's law due to change nation of nature of component classical electromagnetic theory suggested that accelerating charged particle like an electron in a circular orbit emits radiation cause continuous energy loss and potential spiral inward toward the nucleus according to classical theory an electron as electron spiral inward there is changing angular velocity and frequencies would result in a continuous spectrum contradicting the observed line spectrum other four model falls short in atomic structure highlighting the insufficiency of classical idea at the atomic scale neil bohr influenced by other force model introduced quantum concept in 1913 to address its limitation to address its limitation okay yes let's see further we have three post postulates of bohr first postulate was electron can revolve around a electron can revolve in stable orbit without emitting radiant energy forming definite stationary states second one was electron revolve in the orbit with angular momentum with angular momentum nh upon 2 pi integral multiple of h upon 2 pi where n key value will be 1 2 3 4 dot 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 electron can transition between non radiating orbit emitting photon with energy equal to energy difference between initial and final state okay then so we'll study again the bose postulate see what are bose postulate this bose postulate are also very important yes how was the postulates of bohr according to bohr according to bohr electron can revolve around the nucleus in stationary orbit okay second one was angular momentum of revolving electron was l is equal to n h upon 2 pi third one was electron can transition between non radiating orbit that means electron can jump from high stationary orbit to low stationary orbit see why energy was not was not uh, losing because see electron was revolving in a certain orbit okay in by while moving in a certain orbit no energy loss will be there okay when there would be energy loss if electron is jumping from higher stationary orbit to lower stationary orbit yes that time it will be there what about the angular momentum angular momentum was h upon 2 pi if you are calculating the value let us consider if h upon 2 pi is 8 yeah if you if you are getting h upon 2 pi value as 16 like it's just an example then we will consider 2 we will consider 4 we will consider we will consider 8 why 2 8s a 4 4s a 8 2s a it is angular momentum multiple of uh, it is angular momentum multiple uh, integral multiple of h upon 2 pi that means it is it will be what it will be angular momentum so it should be what it should be angular integral multiple of h upon 2 pi okay yes 
so learn this three, three postulates this are very important okay yes just a minute Next is energy and orbital radius calculation. The energy states of hydrogen atom are expressed as E is equal to minus 13.6 EV upon N square, where N is principal quantum number. Bohr's second postulate involved quantization condition for angular momentum provided the formula for radius of the nth possible orbit. Substituting. Substituting this value into energy expression yield total energy of electron in stationary state of hydrogen atom. And what will be atomic energy? It will be expressed by EV and 1 EV will be equal to 1.6 into 10 days to minus 19 Joule. 1.6 into 10 days to minus 19 Joule. Okay, yes. The electron minimum energy occurs in the innermost orbit. As electron moves from higher orbit, its energy increases. The ground state, in the ground state, the atom's lowest energy configuration. In the ground state, the electron revolve in the orbit with smallest radius known as Bohr's radius. The energy of ground state is E1 is equal to minus 1 minus 13.6 EV. The ionization energy is the minimum energy required to remove an electron from hydrogen atom's ground state. The ionization energy predicted by Bohr's model is 13.6 EV. This prediction aligns well with, exam with experimental observation. At room temperature, the majority of hydrogen atoms are in their ground state configuration. When a hydrogen atom absorbs energy, it enters an excited state. For the first excited state, the energy is minus 3.4 electrovolt. For another excited state, energy is 10.2 electrovolt. How to for calculate the excited energy? We have formula En is equal to minus 13.6 upon N square in terms of EV. Excited electron can transit back to lower energy state emitting in this process. energy level diagram the energy level diagram is computed from equation en is equal to minus 13.6 ev upon n square the principal quantum number labels stationary state in ascending order of energy. The highest energy state corresponds to n is equal to infinity, representing 
the energy of atom when the electron is completely removed from the nucleus at at it at n is at rest as n increases the energy of excited state come together Next is before going to next topic, let's discuss the question from last three topics. Let's see the question one by one. Which of the following statement is not correct about the Rutherford model? And the options are and the options are most of the space inside atom is empty. Electron revolve around the nucleus and the influence of Coulomb force acting on them. Most part of mass of atom and its positive charge are concentrated at its center and the last one the stability of atom was established by this model yes just giving few seconds time give me the answer i'm checking the answer Which of the following statement is not correct? Say, most of the space inside atom is empty. The element revolve around the nucleus and the influence of Coulomb force. Most part of mass. And its positive charge are concentrated at center. The stability of atom was established by this model. of the following statement is not true which one d1 okay yes let's see the next one what is the primary particle used in the foot alpha particle scattering experiment beta gamma alpha or neutron is a primary particle used in Rutherford alpha particle scattering experiment. Alpha, beta, gamma, neutron. Alpha. Okay, alpha particle.
what did rutherford conclude from large angle scattering of alpha particle what was rutherford conclusion yes atom has no nucleus atom have concentrated positive nucleus electron are heavy particle the nucleus contain electron yes what did rutherford conclude atom has no nucleus atom have concentrated positive nucleus electron are heavy particle nucleus contain electron atom have concentrated positive nucleus What physical process can provi can provide the free electron with minimal energy needed for electron emission from the metal surface? Thermionic emission, sorry. Yes, we have three things. We have first. Thermionic emission, liberated electron can be given enough thermal energy to allow them to exit the metal by heating it appropriately. Field emission, this technique uses an extremely powerful electric field on the magnitude of electron that can be extracted from a metal by applying 10 raised to 8 volt per meter. When a frequency approaches a prevalent frequency of appropriate light illuminates electron are released from the surface of metal, such photoelectron are electron produced by light. Yes. 